YouTube, what is going on? This is ZX Photo here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod your Halo Reach. First thing you want to do is make a profile. Um, I'm doing an offline profile because um, the only way you can do this mod is offline. If you go online and do it with an online account, it will, it, the mod will work, but it will uh, take away your stuff that you use to mod to, uh, like, whatever you use the mod for, it'll take it away. So, what you're doing is you're uh, making an offline account. You make the offline account, you're gonna just do whatever you want, freaking avatar, it doesn't matter. I just pick the default and start with it. Um, save and exit. Wait for that to load. Okay, now when that loads, um, first thing you want to do is, is uh, put in your Halo Reach. When you put in your Halo Reach, you start the game after that. And I'm going a, uh, I mean, this isn't a live recording, I'm not doing this with the game right now, I recorded the uh, footage earlier, so I'm uh, just waiting for it to load now. Okay. I'm going to show you guys that this is a legitimate thing, because I'm going to show you guys I'm not like lying about this or anything like that. So I know some people are uh, skeptical about uh, modding and if they work or not. So I'm going to show you that this works 100%. So I'm not going to lie to all my YouTube viewers and shit like that. Okay. So we're starting up Halo Reach. So we say Bungie and all that shit. Alright, here we go. Go to hard drive, of course, mail. And you can see right there, I'm a recruit. I got the uh, the bonus award for first starting the game. Showing you that I have everything locked. I have nothing unlocked. All I have unlocked is like the basic stuff you get. My color is the same. And all that. What you want to do is when you uh, when you're about to mod, you want to change the color of your armor or put an attachment on, so the game will save your Halo onto your hard drive. It has something saved on your hard drive from Halo. Okay. Making sure that you see that I'm on local. I'm not online. Okay. Join say this is join Xbox Live. Okay. After you do that, you want to go to dashboard. I'm gonna wait for dashboard to load. Alright, when you go to dashboard, you want to go over to your uh, system. I actually click on profile. I don't know why. Go to storage. And you want to go to your hard drive on your Xbox. You want to click on hard drive. You want to get your profiles. You want to go down to the profile you want to mod. Move it. Yes. You make sure to sign out before you do this. You have to sign out. And you want to move it to your memory stick or USB. Alright? When it's moved, it'll uh, you know, say some crap, like successful, whatever. I made sure that you guys see that my profile was on my USB. You uh, take out the USB while you're logged in on Xbox, it doesn't matter. You'll just get a little warning thing that pops up like that saying reinsert USB. It doesn't matter. I, sound, I signed out anyway just to do it. Alright, now we're on the uh, desktop. You know, I'm trying to open up Horizon and I click and it doesn't freaking respond, so let's wait for me to realize it's not working. There we go. Wait for it to load. Alright, Horizon's free modding software. You can get a Diamond Edition, which comes with like a lot more stuff to do. But if you're going for this Halo Reach credit thing offline, you don't need uh, to pay for Horizon. It's free. It's, it comes with their uh, system. And you can do, uh, uh, mod other games too. Alright. So what you want to do is you want to go to your flash drive and click on your... Uh, how am I doing here? Alright. Yeah, you go to your gamer profiles, 
and there's mine. You want to right click on it and click on extract file. You want to make sure you put it on your desktop because uh, it'll be easier to find there. And once you put it on your desktop, it'll tell you that it's there. I'm showing you that it's on the desktop right there, the white blank page. And when you go back to Horizon, and somehow there's two, so I'm going to close that one. Okay. Now you want to go to Profile Mods and go over to see Halo Reach Credit Editor. You want to open that white file up on your desktop. So you click on it and then open. You want to go to Add Credit and you can put like 9999999, 1 billion, it doesn't matter. I did the 999 crap. And you want to click Add Credits. You want to click Save. You want to click OK. I think it'll say uh, it's successfully saved. You want to click OK. You want to bring up your profile, right click and click inject file. You want to go to the profile on your desktop again and open it. It'll say you want to over right click yes. And it'll tell you if it's successfully done that and you click OK. Then you take the USB out and close out Horizon if you want to. Alright. So you take the USB out, put it back in your Xbox. You want to go back to your system and storage and memory unit, which is your uh, USB. You want to move the profile from the USB back to your hard drive. Alright, once you do that, you uh, start Halo Reach. Wait for it to load. Skip for loading, and it'll say that uh, you sign in. And it'll say congratulations, you uh, ranked up, you or you uh, got promoted, you have new unlocks. That's it'll say that, and then it'll right there, congratulations. And you click A, and they'll tell you to pick your hard drive. You click it, and there you go. You are now an inheritor. One billion some credits. I'm just gonna go through and purchase everything. Show you guys, it's legitimate. That it works. This should this shouldn't take you that long to do. It's very easy to do once you know how to do it. It um it's very fast. Like I can do it within like five minutes usually, or faster than that, just depending on how my computer acts and stuff. It just took me longer to do it because I'm uh, this time because I'm showing you guys how to do it in the tutorial, and making sure I do it slow for you guys so you can see everything that's happening. I'm gonna go through and buy all the helmets. So I can get the haunted helmet unlocked. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, later on in the video. I'm gonna play the first campaign mission and show the cutscenes of where it shows um, the haunted helmet in the cutscene. So you guys can see that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my first mod tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, Message me on Xbox to see the Xphoto. Um, if you have any, or if you uh, want to message me on YouTube, you can do that. You know, whatever. Uh, talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe. Peace.